Formula One power units aren't just engines, they're masterpieces of engineering, a symphony of precision, power, and innovation that has driven the pinnacle of motorsport for over seven decades. But how did we get here? How did we go from roaring, naturally aspirated beasts of the 1950s to today's ultra-efficient hybrid marvels capable of harnessing every drop of energy? Let's rewind to the 1950s. These were the days of simplicity. Cars like the Alfa Romeo 158 used naturally aspirated inline engines with displacements ranging from 1.5 to 4.5 liters. They produced around 300 horsepower, a jaw-dropping number at the time. In the 1960s, the mid-engine revolution transformed Formula One. This new design, pioneered by teams like Lotus, shifted the engine to the middle of the car, improving handling and weight distribution. V8 engines became the standard with displacements around 3 liters and power outputs, climbing to 400 or even 450 horsepower. The 1970s introduced turbocharging. Initially, turbocharged engines struggled with reliability and lag. Renault introduced the first turbocharged V6 engine in 1977. By the end of the decade, naturally aspirated engines were hitting 500 horsepower, while turbocharged counterparts were pushing 600. The 1980s ushered in the true turbo era, where Formula One saw some of the most extreme engines in its history. Cars like the Honda-powered McLaren MP44, driven by legends like Ayrton Senna and Alain Prost, epitomized this era. Unpredictability and reliability challenges caused a rethink and a return to the old adage, there's no replacement for displacement. This rethink manifested itself as a return to naturally aspirated engines in the 1990s. V10 and V12 engines dominated, with displacements of 3.5 liters. Cosworth's Ford-badged V8 engine powered Michael Schumacher's Benetton car to the 1994 Drivers' World Championship. The early 2000s welcomed the golden era of the V10 engine. Cars like the Ferrari F2004 achieved dominance. However, in 2009, major changes in the form of the kinetic energy recovery system would once again reshape the course of Formula One history. The hybrid era. True hybrid power units were introduced in 2014 and combined a 1.6-liter turbocharged internal combustion engine with an advanced energy recovery system. Cars like Lewis Hamilton's championship-winning Mercedes W11 dominated the era, showcasing the incredible potential power and reliability of hybrid technology. Today's Formula One power units continue to build upon the hybrid model, producing over 1,000 horsepower while meeting strict efficiency and sustainability goals. They're heavier and more complex than their predecessors, but they're also far more advanced. Modern Formula One cars are faster, smarter, and more reliable than ever before.